What's going on fellas? It's your boy John. Coming back here again with another late night video. Let me sort this fucking lighting out. There we go. Fuck's sake. This hand placing right. There we go. What's going on? What's going on? It's a late night video. It's 3am. I'm awake. I'm recovering from my illness. I'm feeling a lot better. Thanks for asking. Uh, so yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, I, I knew I was going to get better. Uh, it was basically a stomach bug. Some bullshit going on with my uh, abdomen and going to the toilet compulsively, just not being able to stop. <laughs> I'll spare you the details, but I'm getting better anyway, so I'm good. I'm good. But I wanted to touch on this not very interesting experience that I've had. But it's some light at the end of the tunnel for you guys who are on the NoFab journey, okay? Now I want you guys to listen really intensely to this. I want you to listen to it and I want you to take it as motivation. Take it as inspiration, okay? People attraction is very real on this journey. People attraction is very, very, very real, okay? And uh, we don't need to know about why it's real or what, what, what the causes of it are. It's quite unnecessary. What I will say is you will attract the people that you need to attract on this journey and the people that want to be around you will stay with you. You, It won't be pretty hard to find them. It won't be like before when you were, you know, a jerk off. Um, when it was difficult for you to find people that for lack of a better word, liked you, right, honestly, because uh, it was pretty rare to find people like that, wasn't it, and I was having a conversation with my mum today, and, uh, you know, it's good to just get opinions from your, your mother occasionally, because, you know, mums don't lie, but they will hide the truth a little bit, and I noticed that she said something to me in a conversation today, she said, lately, you've been coming across a lot more human, you know, you've been coming across a lot more human, than before and that clicked in my head i was like damn damn you're right you're right because before i used to i just used to just speak like a robot yeah if you look at my earlier videos that i did on this channel when i first started my journey you can see that i just spoke like a robot i spoke like an inhuman i didn't have any any human characteristics on my face it was like i was just a robot who was placed on planet Earth. I spoke very much like I had some sort of Asperger's uh, syndrome. Now I'm not taking a dig at the Asperger's lot, absolutely not. Um, but what I'm saying is I just spoke in that kind of tone. And it dawned on me, it dawned on me today that I was like, Jesus, I've made a video about this before and this sort of, you know, reconnects back to that is no fact made me human. Okay, makes you human, makes you just a hell of a lot more relatable to people and you're able to communicate that a hell of a lot more better than before and it's not done in a in a in a submissive way or in a in a weak way okay because a lot of the times men men uh, insecure men will they will try and put on a facade yeah they'll put on a facade and they do that because they want to hide their true selves because they think that they're weak quite honest right you think you're weak and you put on a facade to convince others that you're not weak but when you do that what you end up doing is you over exaggerate your flaws which other people can see very very truthfully they can see right through you but you don't know that because you're stuck in your delusional head where you think that you're putting on this good facade and everyone believes it they don't they can see right through it, um, and the women can see right through it as well, and the women that you do convince um, are very insecure women themselves, trust me, they're very insecure women, and the women have a hell of a lot of vulnerability, attachment issues, daddy issues, or whatever the fuck, right, they've got a lot of issues, all you need to do with these women is not answer a text message back, or just ignore them for a second, just try it. ignore them for a second and see what happens you'll see the reaction but anyway I'm going off topic I'm going off topic no fab makes you human it makes you a hell of a lot more human it makes you a hell of a lot more relatable and you attract a lot more people into your life 
can't keep my voice a bit down because it's 3 a.m. Don't want to wake up the neighbours. But the main aspect of this video that I really want to talk about, which is again motivation for you guys who are starting out, is this complete not detachment, but you can see through the bullshit of pornography. Okay, you can see through the bullshit and how it enticed you you know how it enticed you but there is no more allure to it okay after around seven eight months nine months of being off it and uh staying focused in your new habits because i've said this many times before and i'll reiterate it again you will not succeed on this journey if you do not replace your old habit with new habits you won't okay common new habits that i've got now which are just in my blood at this point is just push-ups throughout the day push-ups throughout the day like I just get down and do 10 push-ups on my weakest days I will do 10 minimum on my strongest days I'll push to failure I'll go to 40 or 50 okay um, pull-ups I just do pull-ups sporadically throughout the day I'll do one here and there I'll do three here and there sometimes I'll go to failure I don't go to failure unless I'm doing it on my actual training days but on the usual days I'll just go to I'll just do three two four you know s do some right so I've replaced it with exercise, um, running in the morning, that's another one, um, socializing, just finding someone to talk to and just to get some energy out in that way. Um, I don't really read that much anymore, to be honest, because I just see it as a mundane activity. I'd rather do it, do something active rather than read, but I guess if I find a bit of spare time and I really don't want to do anything else, I'll just read. So you could read as well. Um, but replacing it with new activities is something that is essential. On this journey play the playstation i know there's a lot of youtubers that say you know don't play the playstation it's for losers like if you've got a bit of spare time you're not doing anything else just fucking play the playstation and it's not going to kill you if you play it for an hour or two a day okay it's not going to kill you if you're spending six seven hours on it there's a problem right but if you're just doing it an hour or two a day it's a fucking pastime okay and it's good if it's enjoyed in a healthy lifestyle all right um but yeah the allure of p of pornography is just doesn't exist anymore man it just doesn't exist anymore like even the flashbacks that i get uh you know occasionally from those days those bad old days um they don't mean shit to me anymore even the women because because they're so crazy the women they were so crazy in terms of the way they looked it's like it just doesn't seem like it's even real anymore it seems like that's not that wasn't real life because i've yet to see a woman that looks like those women on on p in real life i've yet to see a woman that looks like that so and i've said this before your brain craves real women when you get off that shit it craves attraction it craves connection and intimacy uh, physical and emotional with real women and you you don't need to try with women anymore <laughs> that's what i i figured out you don't need to try do you remember those days when you would try to get with a woman you try to get her when you're on this journey, you don't need to try anymore. It does happen naturally because you, at a subconscious level, want it. So you will make it happen. You don't need to try anymore. That's what I've noticed is it will come out in your tone. It will come out in your body language. You'll say stuff that you wouldn't even think you'd say, but you'd say it. And then you look at the girl and she's smiling or giggling or whatever the fuck, right? I've noticed this shit. Uh, so you will, you will notice this quite on a, on a regular basis in the sense of you don't need to try anymore um and yeah you won't have the temptation to go back is the main thing you won't have the temptation to relapse that just won't be there anymore because not only do you know where it's going to lead you in terms of you know the hell that you came from but it's allure just doesn't exist anymore it's allure, it's attraction to you, Doesn't it's not there anymore. Because remember, you were doing it to fulfill some sort of emotional lack, some sort of intimate lack, you know, lack of relationships with females, or even real life people, right? You were just not happy about yourself, you were lonely or depressed or whatever, right? And you weren't working on yourself, so you would go to that vice for a relief. But the funny thing is, is, on this journey, you are forced to work on yourself. You are forced to improve. You are forced to do the things that you love and you want to do. 
Okay, your passion, your your drive, you want to do these things. It's not like that you're forced to do them. You want to do it and you want to spend your time doing it. And every hour that you spend working on yourself and uh, doing these hobbies and stuff is a, is a day worthwhile spent. It's not a wasted day anymore. You know, before you just sit at the end of the day and you'd be like, what the fuck have I accomplished today? It's not like that anymore. Because even today, I could do nothing for most of the day. But you know what? If I cook a good meal, if I spend like an hour cooking a good meal, just a good meal, I'll feel accomplished from it. I'll just feel accomplished. If I spend an hour just cooking a good meal, healthy, meets my macros, meets my calories, and it was tasty and it was great, I'll feel accomplished. Obviously, the meal is a bit of a tad bit of an exaggeration. I would have to do something a little more productive than that. You know, some sort of revision or reading or a walk, a long walk, right, or a workout or studying or whatever, but... You know, that's just one example. You just feel a lot more accomplished because you're putting a lot more effort and you're just a lot more present in everything that you're doing. Um, but, but back to the original point of the video, uh, the motivational aspect mainly. There's a lot of motivational aspects on this journey, mind you, but this is the main one. Is probably six months plus after you're done with this journey, you will not want to go back to that life. Okay, But I, I do understand that some people's addictions are more severe than mine okay there's people who have been on this journey for two plus years and they still find themselves relapsing i don't see how that's possible but um i'm not in their shoes i could very well that could very well be me in two years who knows who knows what circumstances do change dramatically i would hope i'd hope though to be the man that i am today and say no to that kind of crap um and i would i have faith in myself to say no i have faith and that's the kind of confidence that i have right now in myself but you know what tough times do happen things can change dramatically but i will say with a firm heart is my alert right now in this moment is zero when it comes to that stuff absolutely zero because i know what i'd be missing out I'd, i know what i'd be thrown away and i also know that it's not the real thing <laughs> that's the main one is it is not the real thing the real thing is out there with real women and that's what you find and create your main attraction and your own relationships. You can't do that with those women on porn. You can't do it, man. Because they're not real. They're not real. They don't love you. They don't like you. They're, they're nothing to you, man. So, uh, yeah. A little, the motivational aspect is basically that. You won't want to go back to that lifestyle. And it will just repulse you. It will just make you sick. Um, I think people who have relapsed will tell you that as well. Is When they went back to that or they relapsed. They felt sick. They felt sick even whilst they were looking at it and they would question, but whilst they were doing the act, they'd question, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And then they'd finish and then they'd feel nothing for a few hours and then they'd feel the immense guilt, shame and self-hate, <laughs> right? Which is uh, pretty, pretty well connected to that kind of bullshit. Okay, that's 13 minutes of me rambling though. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was useful and I hope it was a bit of motivation for you newbies, okay? I know right now your cravings must be high if you're on this journey and you're new. Uh, your cravings must be high, you must be wanting to get back, you know, you just want you just horny or whatever, right? You flashbacks or whatever the shit. Trust me, if you get through this intense hardship, if you get through this painful time, it's painful. I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to say, you'll be a man. No, no, it is hard. It's hard. You've conditioned your brain for multiple years to, to get into this shit. And it's going to take a, a while for your brain to rewire and start to be normal again. It's going to take a while, man. It's going to take a while. It's not going to happen overnight. But you've got to take it every day. Every day has got to be one battle by itself. And you've got to just say to yourself, let me just get through this day. Let me just get through this day without going back. Okay? And just think about what's on the other side of the rainbow. Or mountain or whatever. Think about what's going to come to you, man. A life which you could not imagine. That's nothing phenomenal. It's nothing phenomenal, Superman or whatever the fuck. But it's so much better than where you are now. Okay, so much better, so much better. I'm gonna tell you right now. You have the kind of life where when you wake up, a simple look outside the window, when it's sunny, can make your day, man. It makes your day, and you're happy. You're smiling. Look at me. I'm smiling. This is not a stupid fake smile. This is a real smile, because I I genuinely feel happy. And I'm sick right now, kind of, but. <laughs> you genuinely feel grateful and happy to be alive. This is normal. This is how you're meant to be. Okay. Bad times come. Of course they do, dude. Of course they do. But in general, in general, your life is pretty much on and up. Okay. 
So, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was a very useful, motivational for you guys. Um, sorry I couldn't go too high energy. But, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Not too easy. Not too easy. Work hard.